air has weight for this experiment we need a hanger two balloons now let's start observe these two balloons the yellow balloon is filled with air and the pink balloon is without air as you can see the yellow balloon that contains air tilts down because it is heavier hence it's proved that air has weight air occupies space for this experiment we need an empty pencil box and two balloons now let's put the deflated balloon in the empty pencil box now close the pencil box it closes easily now let's put this inflated balloon in the pencil box and try to close the box this time pencil box cannot be closed as the air filled balloon does not fit into it this shows that air occupies space next experiment is air has no smell to prove this we need a scented flower a sliced onion and two jars place the scented flower in a closed jar and a sliced onion in another jar observe and smell the perfume of the flower and onion with closed lid can you able to smell the perfume no now open the lid of the jar can you smell the fragrance of the flower and odor of the onion yes but how how can we smell the fragrance of flower and odor from onion if air has no smell here is the answer air carries the tiny smells from the flower or odor from onion to our nose when we breathe in our nose can catch the smells and that is how we can smell the fragrance of flowers and odor of onion now let's see experiments on properties of water the first property is water is colorless for this experiment we need two glasses of water and poster colors water is colorless yes it's true that water has no color if you mix any other color in the water it takes its color now let me show you how as you can see water kept in both the glasses look clear and transparent that means it does not have any color now let's add few drops of poster color into one glass of water as you can see the water color changed into black now let's add few drops of red color into other glass of water what do you observe water color changed into red hence it's proof water is colorless but when we mix any other color in the water it takes its color next property of water is water has no shape it takes the shape of the container in which it is kept for this experiment we need water filled containers of different shapes water is like a special liquid it is free flowing when we put it in a container it takes the shape of that container observe these containers as you can see water appears round shape in this container in this container it appears rectangle shape and in this container it looks square shape hence it's proved water has no definite shape water can change its shape to fit inside the container next property is water has fixed volume to do this experiment we need two containers of different shapes and different sizes as you can see this container is small and square shape and this container is large and round shape water has fixed volume to prove this let's pour the water taken in the smaller container into the larger container see here water takes the shape of the larger container but the amount of water remains same don't you believe let's pour the water back into the smaller container what do you see did you take the same amount of water yes did the water change its amount no 
This is why we say water has fixed volume but it can change its shape to fit a container. Let's see the next property. Water is tasteless. For this experiment, we need two glasses of water, salt and sugar. Taste this water. Does it have any taste? No. Now let's add some amount of salt to this water and stir it. Now taste the water. It tastes salty. Now let's add some amount of sugar into the other glass of water. Stir the sugar until it dissolves completely in the water. If you taste the water, it will taste sweet. This demonstrates water itself is tasteless. But it can take on the taste of added ingredients. For more learning videos, subscribe to Bumblebee Kids channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.